The number one rated high school wrestler in the nation found himself staring out at the ocean, 3,000 miles from home. Bryce Hammond of Bakersfield, California, arrived in Virginia Beach to prove his number one status. The Bible and his family are his closest companions. West Coast guys are more funky. They like to wrestle on their feet more. Trying to swim and, um, it's just a little bit uh, more flashy, kind of. And the East Coast guys are really good on the mat, top bottom. They ride tough and they're tough to ride. His father, a pastor in Bakersfield, is also one of the key motivators for Bryce and his younger brother Coleman, who made it to the sophomore finals. Hip, hip. Bryce watched his brother take the sophomore title. The thin, mild-mannered 160-pounder seems to carry an internal time bomb. He seemed to be glowing with confidence. From Hastings, Nebraska, this is Austin Wilson, and in the red singlet from Bakersfield High in Bakersfield, California, two-time California state champion. He's the 2011 Dapper Dan champion, Bryce Hammond. He's a good one, a couple of good ones. Going at it here, two D1 prospects at 160 pounds. I like what Bryce Hammond just did there. He eloquently pulled the leg out. He scooped it with his leg. Now he's looking to try to pop his head out, pushing on the knee. Here it comes. There it is, that should be a takedown. Point takedown on the first points of the match. But his hand work and, the, and, and how smoothly he went through the process, the, the progression, the move up, very well done, very polished. And again, we've seen a lot of California representation here tonight, Jeff. I, I, again, I cannot stress how difficult it is to win the California state title. Bryce Hammond, a two-time state champion. One division. One division. All those kids in the state of California. He won it as a junior and again this year as a senior. Maybe equally as impressive, 35-0, and 0, carried an undefeated record all season long in California. What a, what a career. Wilson now, working that low single. Trying to come out the back door for a reversal step now. Step up, there it is. Now he should try to turn into it. Sit back. There's the turn in. You got it, you got, you got it. a good cross Keep face. Can he break the lock? Keep and he runs out of time. Time is going to run out. Do they get the, not even the one. Tough break there. But right now, yeah, Wilson's doing a nice job on top until that Granby roll there by Hammond. And a reversal and a 4 nothing lead. Watch out. And now Hammond working that cheap tilt, Jeff, and he's getting the count. There's the full five by our head official, Ryan Mendoza from Colorado, director of the Colorado chapter of the National Wrestling Hall of Fame and official of the year in 2009. Right down on the spot to make the call, and a now 7 nothing lead for Hammond. 7-1 lead as we go into the third period, Hammond. He's been dominant here, Jeff. He's gonna, ha Austin uh, Wilson's gonna have to start to get a little bit desperate. His coach kind of said something to him from the corner, kind of like a, a little code sign to let him know what he thinks he ought to be doing. Last double. Hammond also a very, very good student. He's a 3.7 GPA in his high school. Very impressive. See how long the officials let this one go. He might blow this dead with a stalemate. I don't think either wrestler is really improving his position here and there. We'll get the call. 1.30 to go. It's a 7-1 lead for Bryce Hammond from Bakersfield, California. Yeah, if Wilson tried to come up there, Hammond would have split over. Boy, how about the win last night, Jeff, for Hammond to get here. Wrestled one of the higher-ranked wrestlers in the country from Oklahoma, Zach Skates. 4-1 in triple overtime. Had to ride him out, actually got a near fall late, but uh, rode his man out after he had gotten the escape in double overtime, the first 30 second period. That close to not being here, but he did the job, rode his man out, actually got a turn late to win it 4-1 to get him into the title match. There it is. Wilson did a beautiful duck under to the left side, turned the corner and immediately seized the far ankle. And to his credit, Hammond was able to keep from falling to his hip, but eventually Wilson had the leverage to collapse. So four right. points, it's a 7-3 score, 45 seconds 40 to seconds, go. Maybe a nest maneuver here where you drop to a leg and then Load transition back up to the upper body. 
Wilson was sixth here as a sophomore, seventh a year ago as a junior. That's the beauty of coaching athletes is you develop such a rapport where you don't need to say everything out loud. You can just make a few signs and you're both on the same page. And the corner coach, uh, Craig Wilson, his dad. So if you don't get any more signs from uh, than your dad. Probably had a lot of uh, training sessions in the Wilson household uh, back in Hastings. Hammond was warned for stalling on bottom, not doing enough. Final 10 seconds, can Bryce Hammond cap off a heck of a 2011? There's the point, 7-4, but it comes with just eight seconds to go. Bryce Hammond is gonna be your national champion at 160 pounds, 7-4 victory for the wrestler from California. Um, I uh, feel the Dapper Dan, uh, it was there uh, last Friday through uh, Monday, and uh, I wrestled a tough guy, and I won there. And uh, then I had the drop of the weight here without uh, wrestling more running, and it was just kind of hard. But uh, and then I uh, had a tough semi, and the finals was tough too. So it was a it's a grind. <laughs>